Ever wondered how the volume control in your speaker works? It's all thanks to a little device called a potentiometer. In the world of electrical circuits, potentiometers play a key role in manipulating one of the most crucial parameters, resistance. As per Ohm's law, voltage is a product of current and resistance. Altering any of these parameters directly affects voltage. However, in most electrical circuits, it's not convenient to vary current. That's where the potentiometer comes in, acting as a tool to vary resistance and consequently adjust voltage. A potentiometer, in its simplest form, is a variable resistor with three terminals. The magic happens with a movable contact that adjusts resistance. Picture a track, long and thin, made up of materials like carbon, cermet, conductive plastic, or a metal film. These materials provide a resistive path for the current. The movable contact, the star of the show, slides along this resistive track. The first and third terminals of the potentiometer connect to this moving contact. The second terminal connects to the positive terminal of the power supply, and the third terminal links to the positive end of the load. The load's negative end, in turn, connects to the negative end of the power supply. As the contact moves from the start to the end of the track, or vice versa, it varies the resistance applied to the current flowing through the path. This variation in resistance alters the voltage applied to the load. In simpler terms, when you move the contact, you change the output voltage flowing from the second terminal to the third. So the next time you're adjusting the volume on your speaker, remember that you're essentially manipulating a potentiometer. As you change the pot, you're varying the voltage applied to the amplifier. And voila, the volume changes. So in essence, a potentiometer is a variable resistor that we can manipulate to control voltage, such as the volume in your speaker. While the underlying principle remains the same, there are many types of potentiometers. Each potentiometer is unique and designed to cater to different needs, but their purpose, to regulate resistance and thus control voltage, remains consistent. Now let's dive into this fascinating world of potentiometers. The most commonly used type is the rotary potentiometer. As the name suggests, it involves a rotary knob that the user can turn along a semicircular resistance track. As the knob moves, the resistance changes and so does the voltage. The ease of use and intuitive design make rotary potentiometers a popular choice. They can be further categorized into concentric, single turn, and servo potentiometers. Then we have the linear potentiometer. It functions in the same way as the rotary potentiometer, but instead of a semicircular track, it uses a straight or linear one. The user moves an object along this track to vary the resistance and consequently the voltage. But that's not all. There's a whole spectrum of potentiometers out there, from logarithmic potentiometers that change resistance logarithmically to slide potentiometers that use a slider for resistance variation. There's also the dual gang potentiometer that has two separate potentiometers controlled by a single knob. For more precision, you can opt for a multi-turn potentiometer. With each turn, the resistance changes minutely, allowing for more control over the voltage. Digital potentiometers, on the other hand, use digital signals to control resistance. Then there are motorized potentiometers that can be adjusted remotely, trimmer potentiometers for fine-tuning circuits, and membrane potentiometers that are thin and flexible. Not to forget the stereo potentiometer for audio applications and the precision potentiometer for precise resistance changes. Each of these potentiometers has its own unique characteristics and applications, making them suitable for a wide range of electrical circuits. From this wide array of potentiometers, we can choose the most suitable one based on the specific requirements of our electrical circuit. Our next step is to take a deeper look into the world of rotary and linear potentiometers. So stay tuned. Let's take a closer look at two of the most commonly used potentiometers, the rotary and linear potentiometers. The rotary potentiometer, often simply called a rotary pot, operates on a semi-circular pattern. This makes it user-friendly as you can easily adjust the resistance by rotating the knob. As you turn the knob along the resistive track, the resistance varies, and consequently, so does the voltage. On the other hand, we have the linear potentiometer. It functions in much the same way as its rotary cousin, but instead of a semi-circular pattern, it uses a straight or linear object that moves along the resistive track. 
As this object moves, the resistance and therefore the voltage changes. So whether it's a rotary or linear potentiometer, the principle is the same, adjusting resistance to control voltage. And that's how you control the volume on your speaker.